expectation. And what are you to expect? Be expecting that this awesome God that you and I are serving will visit you. And this month, our theme for the month of April is divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine is made up of the Godhead, the God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The only one God who works in three persons. And God will visit you in the month of April. And so you have to be in expectation. Because whenever Jesus Christ shows up, whenever Jesus Christ shows up, good things follow. And God is going to be visiting us in the month of April. That's why I started reading Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. That arise, arise, arise from your griefing, arise from your disappointment, arrive, arise from being looking down on yourself, arise from whatever problem that you are going through, arise for your light, for your light has come. Arise and shine. God is telling you that in the month of April, arise and begin to shine. Wherever there is darkness, he says that his light will visit you and you will begin to shine in the month of April. So God is telling you and I that we have to be in expectation in the month of April because he is going to shine his light upon us. And so we have to arise. Arise from being afraid. Arise from being sorrowful. Arise from being sad. Arise from looking down on yourself and thinking that the situation is hopeless. God is telling you and I that in the month of April, be in expectation. There is nothing too hard. There is nothing too difficult for Jehovah God. So arise. Arise and shine. For your light has come. For some of us, in the month of April, our light is going to come forth. And we are going to shine. Wherever there is darkness, it could be financial darkness, darkness in your marriage, darkness in your health, darkness concerning your pregnancy, darkness concerning a favor that you need. But the Lord says that arise and shine because His light is coming upon you in the month of April. You are going to radiate with His glory. And the glory of the Lord will be risen upon you. Tonight, I am prophesying unto you that be in expectation. Be in expectation. Because without expectation, there is no manifestation. You can't see the miracle. You can't see the glory. You can't see signs and wonders. You can't see the hand of the Lord working for you. Turning things around for your good if you are not in expectation. What are you expecting? Are you expecting to receive from the Lord? Are you expecting good things? Are you expecting awesome things? Then arise. God is telling you that in the month of April, all things are passed away. Be in a great expectation and believe that this great God, believe that whenever Jesus Christ shows up and visits you, He comes with good things. When He shows up, good things follow. So God is telling you and I that arise and shine. Begin to shine. Begin to be happy. Begin to be hopeful. Begin to believe that those dreams, those visions, those aspirations are about to come to pass in your life. God says arise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ is risen upon you. For behold, for behold, darkness shall cover the face of the earth. And as I talk to you, darkness is covering the face of the earth. People are losing jobs, people are, minds are breaking, things are going on, and people's hearts are melting down, people are afraid, people are fearful, tornadoes and chaos all over the world. But the Bible says that deep darkness upon the people, but the Lord will rise upon you. I want you to know that God wants to set you apart and visit you in the month of April and show you His kindness and show you his goodness not because things are not becoming hard all around you but the Lord says that upon the face of the earth the people you are going up and coming in with their hearts will be melting because probably their hopes are not in God but for you who you are trusting in the Lord for you who you are praying to God for you who you are relying upon you the Lord is telling you that he is going to visit you the month of April our Prayer is that the Lord should visit us with his divine visitation. And he says that his glory shall shine upon us 
And so please, I just want to encourage you that as you pray tonight, be in great expectation. Be in great expectation because expectation is the mother of manifestation. When you expect the Lord in the month of April, it will not pass you by until things change in your life, things change in your finances, things change in your marriage, things change in your relationships, things change at your workplace, things change in your health. If you will believe the Lord, when we read Isaiah chapter 43, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18, it says that do not remember the former things. Do not remember the former things. Precious one, God is telling you and I that we are entering or we have entered into a new month and so be hopeful and be in the great expectation. He says that do not remember the former things. Meaning God is telling you, forget about the past. Forget about what went through January, what went on February, what went on on March. But forget about everything. Even if you were blessed in the month that was past, forget about it. If the month of January, February and March was not favorable to you, God says forget about it. Do not consider. Do not remember the former things. Forget about the former things. Nor consider the things of old. Let the old things, let the past be past. Behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. This month of April, I am in a great expectation. Because the Bible says we shall arise and shine. And His glory will be revealed in our lives. He says that do not remember the former things or the things of old. God is telling you that, behold, I do a new thing. In this month of April, if you and I will be in expectation and believe God, He will do a new thing. He says that, behold, I do a new thing. Nor shall it not spring forth. You shall know it. If you expect it, you will know it. If you are in expectation, you will receive. And you will see the glory of the Lord in your life. I will even make road in the wilderness. I will make a road in the wilderness. Whatever wilderness situation you and I are going through, God says that I'm about to do a new thing in the month of April. And I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. It could be a financial wilderness. It could be a wilderness with your creditors. You are in deep in debt. You are even about to lose your homes or about to lose your marriage or lose your children or things are going bad at your workplace. Things are not going on well with you. But the Lord says that forget about the former things. Forget about the things of old. For I am about to do a new thing in your life in the month of April. Only believe. Only believe because whenever Jesus Christ shows up and he comes with good things and in the month of April, it is a month of divine visitation. Jesus is going to visit you. Jesus is going to visit your problem. He said that I will make a road in the wilderness. Even in Jesus' name as I speak right now, may the Lord God Almighty make a road for anyone who needs solutions, who need access to his problems, to their issues. The Lord should give you solutions and make a road for you even right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, behold, I do a new thing. Whatever situation you are going through, the Lord is doing a new thing in your life. Even tonight, even in Jesus' name. And the rivers in the desert. There are rivers in the desert where the Lord is about to bring in your life. It says rivers in the desert. Deserts are dry areas. Deserts are when things are working against us. But the Bible says that in your desert, I will command the rivers to flow. The rivers of living waters that will never make you hunger or want or make you ever test anymore. God is about to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Arise and shine. Arise and shine is the word of the Lord for us. And in the month of April, all I can encourage you is to be in expectation. Because our theme for the month is divine visitation. On Friday, we will elaborate more. And our verse for the month of April is Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. The Bible says that our God is able to do exceedingly, 
abundantly, far above all that we can even ask or think according to the power that is working in us. I want you to be in a great expectation, even though it seems as though nothing has changed as you have entered into the month of April. But I want you to know that as we pray tonight, a new wind is blowing into your situation. A new wind is blowing into your direction. A new wind is blowing, and it's blowing all the pastors away. And it's going to be blowing into manifestation the favor, the blessing, the goodness, the salvation, the deliverance of God in your life, the joy and the peace of God in your life and the riches of God in your life. Upon the face of the earth, there are chaos. Upon the face of the earth, people are losing heart. People are afraid. People are worried. But upon you, upon you, the Bible says, your light will shine because your confidence is in our Lord Jesus Christ. So tonight, I want us to spend some time thanking God for giving us this privilege to see this glorious April. I want you to say, this month is a good month for me. Open your mouth to say, this month is a good month for me. I want you to confess it. And the Bible says that, as a man thinketh, so he is. The Bible says that life and death lies in the power of the tongue. I want you to confess that this month of April is a good month for me. It is a glorious month for me. It is an amazing and a good month for me because I know God will visit me. God will visit my family. God will visit my marriage. God will visit my family, my children. God will visit my finances. God will visit my problem. I want you to open your mouth again and say, Lord, I believe that in the month of April, you will cause me to shine. You will cause me to shine. You will cause me to shine and to radiate with your glory. This month of April is a good month for me. I claim it. I receive it by faith in Jesus' name. As a man thinker, so he is. As you speak, faith will begin to create and begin to work for your good. This is the month of your deliverance. This is your month of salvation. This is the month of your restoration. This is the month where whatever the devil has stolen, whatever the devil has tied you down, whatever the devil has broken in your life, the Lord will set you free and set you loose and make you see rivers and high places and fountains in the wilderness. He says that he will make a way for you. Jesus will make a way for you. Jesus will visit that marriage. Jesus will visit you and deliver you from your oppressors. Jesus will visit you and make a financial way for you. Jesus will quiet your creditors. They are going to cancel that debt. That debt, that debt, that debt. You are the verge of losing a home. The Lord will come and intervene in it for you. You may have not been able to be pregnant because of miscarriage. The Lord will intervene for you. You are struggling financially. God will intervene for you. You need a breakthrough at your workplace. God will intervene for you. You've been applying for jobs and they haven't hired you. The Lord will intervene. Your mind is at the verge of collapse. The Lord will intervene for you. Because he says that, Behold, I do a new thing. I do a new thing. Forget about the former things. Forget about the things of old. I will make it known to you. Be in a great expectation. As you pray, believe that this God is going to be good to you in the month of April. May God establish his word in your life. And may this new wind, may this new wind of glory, the new wind of his blessing, the new wind of his favor, may it blow away all the battles of the old. May it blow them away and may it bring to you refreshing may it bring to you his blessing may it bring to you deliverance even in jesus name amen and amen i want you to just thank god for his word and thank him that lord in this month of april you are about to do a new thing in my life and i embrace it and i accept it and i believe you just confess your belief in the word of the lord let's thank god for his word father we thank you we thank you we thank you we bless you for your word which has come forth in the beginning of this new month. For your word says that do not remember the former things. Your word is telling us we should not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, you will do a new thing. Behold, you will do a new thing in our lives. You will even make the road in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Father God, your word has commanded us tonight that we shall arise Arise, arise. I pray in the name of Jesus that Father, you cause everyone on this phone line to arise 
and begin to shine forth, and that your glory may be revealed in their lives, in, irrespective, despite the things that are going on in this world. May they arise, and may they shine forth with your glory. May your glory be revealed to them, because your voice is on the face of the earth. There shall be darkness, but upon them, because they have cried to you, because they are praying to you, because they are depending upon you, because they are relying upon you, may your glory be revealed in their lives. May your glory be revealed in their families. May your glory be revealed in their health. May your glory be revealed in their finances. May your glory be revealed in their destinies, even in Jesus' name. I pray that tonight, in the month of April, do a new thing in their lives. Even in Jesus' name, I release your blessing upon this prayer line, upon their lives. Even in Jesus' name, we pray for thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Please be in expectation. And the month of April, you will see the glory of the Lord. Even in Jesus' name. We are going to start our prayer, as we always do, by thanking God for helping us see yet another month. The month of April. I tell you the truth. It is a glorious month and I want you to be in a great expectation. And you will have a testimony. You will have a breakthrough. The Lord will intervene. Because it is a month of divine visitation. Let's thank God for the month of January. For seeing us through the month of January. Seeing us through the month of February. Seeing us through the month of March. And ushering us into a new month of April. Join me as we thank God for our lives, for our families, for our health, for how far he has brought us. If the Lord was not on our side, where would we have been? So let's pray right now and thank the Lord for the month of April, for his goodness and mercies and joy forever. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for helping us see yet a glorious month, the month of April. We see this month of April and we believe that, Father God, you are about to do an amazing, a glorious thing, a wonderful thing in our lives in the month of April. So we want to thank you in advance. We want to thank you for helping us see this new month. We glorify your name. We exalt your name. We uplift your name. We enthrone your name. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness and we say, Lord, you are an awesome God. You are a magnificent God. You are a glorious God. We thank you for seeing us through the month of January. We thank you for seeing us through the month of February. We thank you for seeing us through the month of March. We thank you for helping us see yet a glorious month of April. We are blessed and we are thankful and we are grateful. Father God, upon the face of the earth there is darkness and gross darkness but upon us, your light is shining upon us and the glory of the Lord is being revealed to us even in the month of April. So we want to thank you for what you are about to do in our lives. We worship you in the beauty of holiness. We say, holy, holy are you, Jesus. You, Lord God Almighty, who is, who is, who is to come. All power, all glory, all honor, all adoration belongs to you. We serve an awesome God. We serve a good God. We serve a faithful God. If it hadn't been the Lord on our side, where would we have been? The Lord has been good, merciful to us. When our enemies... When our enemies were intending evil, were planning evil, even when our friends turned their backs at us, when our relatives turned their backs at us, when people we relied and trusted all betrayed our trust, yet the Lord was with us. The Lord was our comforter. The Lord was our strength giver. The Lord was our helper. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We bless your name. If it hadn't been the Lord on our side, when the problems of life, when the challenges of life, when the issues of life came against us, we would have been condemned. We would have been consumed. But the Lord was our deliverer. When we went through the fire, the fire did not consume us. When we went through the waters, the waters did not overflow us. Oh, the Lord was with us as we went through the the valley of the shadow of death because of his grace because of his mercies that's why we are still alive father we thank you Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you all the glory for sustaining us until now, for preserving us until now, for protecting us until now, for providing for us until now, for being our helper and being our friend. Oh, a friend who sticks to us closer than a brother. Oh, you are our greatest comforter. You are our greatest helper. There is no one like unto you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because it's compassing. They fail it not. They are renewed every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O God. We bless your name. We honor your name tonight. And we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 
for everyone on this phone line we thank you lord for their lives we thank you for how far you have brought them it hasn't been an easy journey it has been been an easy walk it hasn't been an easy through through the months but lord you have kept them you have sustained them you have defended them you have protected them until now if you haven't been on their side maybe situation would have been worse but thanks be for your mercies thanks be for your goodness and your kindness for how far you have brought them and i thank you for what you have in store for them in this brand new month that you're about to do a new thing in their lives i thank you lord for everyone on this phone line i thank you lord and i bless your name in jesus name have we prayed with thanksgiving amen amen and amen precious one the bible makes us to understand that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us. The Bible says that sin makes us fall short of the glory of the Lord. As we said, Joshua chapter 3 verse 5 says that, Consecrate, set yourself apart, for the Lord is about to do a new thing. In the month of April, I'm expecting God to do a glorious and a wonderful and an amazing thing in our lives. And so one of the only things that will prevent God from not doing this thing in our lives is sin, sin, sin. We want to pray and ask for forgiveness of sin. That if there be any sin in our lives, that the Lord will forgive us. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and I will heal their land. God says that if we ask for forgiveness of sin, He will heal our land. He will heal our land in our marriages. He will heal our land financially. He will heal our land in our relationships. He will heal our land in our families. He will heal our health, our mind, our soul, our soul, and He will heal our destiny. Tonight, we want to pray for forgiveness of sin. That if there be any sin in our lives, the Lord should forgive us. So that in this month of April, the Lord will do an amazing thing and a glorious thing in your life. Let's pray right now and ask for forgiveness of sin. Ask God to forgive you and to cleanse you, even in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, Lord, tonight we come before your presence one more time and ask for forgiveness of sin. For your word says that for all our sin and fall short of your glory. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us. The Bible says that we should consecrate, we should set ourselves apart for you are about to do an amazing thing, a glorious thing in our lives. Father, tonight, set us if there be anything in us, try us, forgive us, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. I ask for mercy, I ask for forgiveness for anyone on this phone line, that you forgive them of their sins, O oh Lord. Whatever they have done, we doesn't glorify you. Whatever they are, we have done, O oh Lord, we doesn't please you. Sins of omission, the things we were, which we were supposed to do, which we didn't do, the things which we were not supposed to do, which we did as Christians. Failing to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit, failing, O oh Lord, to obey your commandment, Father, we pray. Tonight that you forgive us. Tonight that you cleanse us. Tonight that you purge us. Help us to die to the world. Help us to die to the worldly souls, worldly ways of life. Oh, carnal lifestyle, oh Lord. The saints, oh Lord Almighty. Our addictions, oh Lord Almighty. The idols of our hearts, oh Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, oh God. Cleanse us, purify us with the precious blood of Jesus, creating us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Father God Almighty, fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to be like the five wise virgins who were always streaming their lives and they were waiting for your soul return. Father God Almighty, we ask for forgiveness. Cleanse us, O oh Lord. Purify us, O oh Lord. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit wash every sin in our lives, O oh God Almighty, and present us spotless, clean before you, even in Jesus' name. Father, forgive us tonight. Anything we have said, anything we have done, every bitterness, every anger, every unforgiveness, anything we have uttered with our lips, O Lord Almighty, against our neighbors, against our co-workers, Father, forgive us, O Lord, for our harsh words, O God Almighty. Cleanse us, O Lord. Forgive us and give us the grace to forgive those who trespass against us, even in Jesus' name. Anything we have done, even in the past, which is holding us bound, forgive us, O Lord. We renounce our sins, O Lord. We renounce our sins of idolatry, immorality, O Lord, fornication, O last, O Lord Almighty, bitterness, O Lord, forgive us, O Lord. Create in us a clean heart, even in Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Precious one, I want us to also pray that tonight the Lord will fill you with the Holy Spirit. You are entering into a new month and you have entered into a month of April. You need the Holy Spirit to be your strength. 
You will need the Holy Spirit to help you to run and not be weary. To walk and not faint. To mount up on angels' wings. You will need the Holy Spirit to be your helper. The Holy Spirit to be your strength giver. You need the Holy Spirit to sustain you. You need the Holy Spirit to preserve you and protect you. So I want us to pray that in the month of April, we are relying and depending solely on the power of the Holy Spirit. Not by might, not by our power, but by the Spirit of the living God. The Bible says that if God does not build, the builder builds but builds in vain. And if God does not watch, the watchman watches but watches in vain. If the Lord is not with you, you will labor, you work so hard and reap little. But if God's strength, if God's spirit is working in you, then you will outrun even those who have gone ahead of you. You will overcome. You will, you, you will run and pass those who have gone before you. Because the power of God, the strength of God, the favor of the Lord, the anointing of the Lord upon your life will make you out run and out do all those who have gone ahead of you because of the strength of heaven tonight i want you to pray that the lord will anoint you for the month of april and do a great thing that whatever you touch because of the power of god at work in your life you will prosper the bible says that to him who is able he said that unto him who is able to do exceedingly above abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that is working in us the holy spirit is that which will cause you to do exceedingly and abundantly far above it is the spirit of god which is going to cause god to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask and even think it is going to take the holy spirit at work in you so i want us to pray right now that the lord should fill us afresh with the holy spirit until we are full of his power on and his fire even in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please ask for the strength of heaven. Even in Jesus' name. That the Lord, the Lord should anoint you. Father, we recognize, we, we acknowledge that without you we can do nothing. Without you, oh God, we can do nothing. We will rise early in the morning, work so hard and reap little. Because it is by our own strength and our own effort. If, we don't help, if you don't help us, we will watch like the watchmen. But will not be able to, Lord Almighty, do anything. If you don't build, the builder builds, but builds in vain. If you don't watch, the watchman watches, but watches in vain. Father, without you on our side, we can do nothing. You are the vine and you are the branches. In you we find strength. In you we find grace. In you we find our help. You are our shepherd. And we, you, because you are our shepherd, you supply all our needs. According to your riches and glory in true Christ Jesus. So, Father, tonight we come before you as our great shepherd. Shepherd us, O God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That, Father God, in the month of April, we will not want. That you make us lie in still waters. In the name of Jesus Christ, you make us lie in still waters. You restore our soul. You make us walk in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We will fear no evil in the month of April because your presence will be with us. Father, in the month of April, we are praying that, Father God, you will be our provider. We are praying that you will be our sustainer. We are praying that you provide for us. You protect us. You protect our families. You protect our children. You protect our jobs. You protect our, our children. You protect our finances. You sustain us, oh God. Be our, give us the sustaining grace to go through the month of april be our provider provide our needs and our wants even in the name of jesus be our deliverer deliver us from our enemies deliver us from the storms of life even in jesus name be our helper be our comforter even in jesus name help us to accomplish your purpose your plans and your will for our lives in the month of april even in jesus name restore our families bless us enlarge us oh god almighty we need the holy spirit we need you, Holy Spirit. We need you in the month of April, even in Jesus' name. Be our sustainer, Holy Spirit. Show us, empower us, refresh us, energize us, grant us grace in our homes, grant us grace in our workplace, grant us grace in our education, grant us grace in anything we are embarking on. We need your strength, we need your sustaining grace. Without you, we can do nothing. We need you to help us, we need you to deliver us from our enemies. We need you to be our shepherd. We need you to be our helper. We need you to be our comforter. We need you to be our strength giver. Holy Spirit, we rely on you. We depend on you 
for your grace and for your strength, even in Jesus' name, have we prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Precious one, in the month of April, our theme and our verse is that the Lord will visit us, divine visitation. And we are standing on Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, which says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that is working in us, in the month of April, we want to pray that the Lord will do exceedingly and abundantly, far above that which we can even think or ask. I'm expecting that the Lord will exceed your expectation, that the Lord will blow your mind in whatever you are believing Him for. So we are going to pray right now. This is the time for you to pray to the Lord that in this month of April, the Lord should visit you in a unique way and do exceedingly and do abundantly above all that you can ask. So first of all, you have to ask. You have to ask, what is your need? What is your want? What are you believing God for in this month of April? I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray. That Father, in this month of April, I am believing you for divine visitation. For your word says that you will make a way in the wilderness and you make rivers flow in the desert. So Father God, I want you to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above that which I can think or ask for, even in Jesus' name. Precious one, I want you to go before the Lord and begin to ask the Lord to visit you, to do a special thing in your life. And I tell you the truth, by the end of this month, the Lord will visit you and the Lord will exceed your expectation. The Lord will exceed your accent. The Lord will exceed what you are thinking about. The Lord will blow your mind and do a wonderful thing in your life. But before that, you are, the word of God says, ask, ask. And it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Unto you. The Bible says that if my people are called by my name, will call unto me. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, call unto me, and I will answer you, and do great and mighty things which you do not know. It starts by asking. Jabez asked. Jabez prayed to the Lord, and God answered him. Tonight, open your mouth and begin to pray to God. And he will answer you and do a great thing. So let's call unto the Lord. Pray to God. Bring all your problems to him. Bring all your needs to him. Bring all your issues to him. And he will do an awesome thing in your life in the month of April. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's pray somebody. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We have come before your presence in the month of April. Father, your word has promised us that you are going to do exceedingly. Exceedingly. Father God. We want you to do an exceeding thing in our lives, O oh Lord, in the month of April. Father God, anyone on this phone line, whatever be their needs, O oh Lord, may you do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that they can ask. Father, those who are believing you for marital breakthrough, I pray in the name of Jesus that you grant them breakthrough in their marriages. Those who are believing you for financial breakthrough, I, can, I pray that you come through for them financially, even in Jesus' name. Those who need you to restore their relationships, oh Lord, I pray that you restore relationships in their marriages, relationship between them and their children, relationship between them and their co-workers, relationship between them and their friends, relationship with them and their peers, restore relationships, even in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord restore marriages with love restore marriages with understanding restore marriages with peace restore marriages with love restore marriages with communication restore marriages oh Lord Almighty with oh Lord Almighty agreement oh Lord understanding peace and tranquility restore families in the name of Jesus Father God bring people together oneness of mind restore people's health in the month of March, I pray, release your healing. Release your healing. That there shall be health. There shall be health. There shall be healing. There shall be strength in people's bodies. Even in Jesus' name. Those who are believing you to heal their loved ones. Father, heal their children. Heal their husbands and wives. Heal their relatives. Heal their bodies from every sickness, every infirmity. I release healing. I release healing. I release deliverance into their bodies. By the strength of Jesus, make them whole. Heal their mind. 
Heal their body, heal their soul, even in Jesus' name. Heal their body, heal their mind, heal their soul, even in Jesus' name. I cast every sickness in their body, even in Jesus' name. I come against fear. I come against worry. I come against depression. I come against anxiety. I come against nervous breakdown. I come against hopelessness and disappointment. I come against it in Jesus' name. I release sound mind. I release the peace of the Lord. I release joy of the Spirit, even into their soul into their body, into their mind, even in Jesus' name. I release deliverance on anyone who has been bound by the enemy. I pray that the chains and the circles and the prison's door will be flung open by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of God. Lose the captives, lose the captives. Those who are bound by witches and wizards, principalities and powers, strongholds and strong men. I bind that strong man, I bind the strong man and lose the captives in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind the broken hearted, strengthen the feeble, even in Jesus' name. Heal our children, heal our children in Jesus' name. And they were bound in our addiction. I break them loose from tobacco, I break them loose from cigarettes, I break them loose from womanizing, I break them loose, oh God Almighty. From every pornography in the name of Jesus, I break them loose, oh God Almighty. From every demonic spirit, oh Lord, that oppresses, that surprises, that depresses their lives, I lose them from the grips of the enemy. In Jesus' name, we release healing. Father, those who have lost direction, those who don't seem to have direction in their lives, that in the month of April, may you give them direction. May you give them direction. May your purpose, may your will, may your counsel, may your plan, may your purpose for their life be established in their lives in the month of April. For your voices that arise and shine. Anyone whose destiny is in darkness, anyone whose destiny is hidden, anyone whose destiny is hidden, whose star is hidden, whose plan, whose purpose, your purpose for their life has been hidden by witchcraft, by the hidden by wizardry, be hidden, O Lord. I pray that your light, your glory will shine, will shine forth in their darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend your light, even in Jesus' name. That in the month of April, may they arise and shine. In the month of April, may their destiny arise and shine. May their business arise and shine. May their families arise and shine. May their marriages arise and shine. May their finances arise and shine. In their bodies, may they arise and shine. Because your light has come unto them. Because your glory is revealed unto them. Father, your, mouth, your word says, in the month of April, you will give us divine visitation. Father, we are believing you that you shall visit thy children. Father, visit me. Father, visit this prayer line. Father, visit this ministry. Father, visit everyone on this, on this prayer line. Father, visit thy children. Father, visit our families. Father, visit our children. Father, visit the education. Father, visit our finances. Father, visit our homes. Father, visit us. Because your words are behold, I do a new thing. Father, I pray. That Father God, you will do a new thing in our lives. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you shall do a new thing, an amazing thing, a glorious thing, a wonderful thing, a, a, a very refined thing in our lives. I prophesy into your children's life. I prophesy into their marriages. I prophesy into the womb. Anyone who is barren, anyone who is infertile, anyone who doesn't have children, believe in you for their children. Father, may they arise. And I command that their wombs will be open. Those who are going to financial stress, I pray that you shall make a way for them in the wilderness. Those who are looking for a job, I pray that you shall make a way for them in the wilderness. Those who are looking for jobs, may you make a way for them in the month of April. Those who need restoration in their marriages, make a way for them. Those who need solutions in any problem, any issue going, going on in their lives, make a way. Make rivers flow in their desert in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for solutions tonight. I pray for solutions tonight. May they wake up tomorrow morning knowing that a new chapter, a new day has dawned upon them, even in Jesus' name. A new day has dawned up unto them, in Jesus' name. I set before them an open door. I command every iron door of difficulties to be opened in the name of Jesus. I command every iron door of difficulties to be opened in the name of Jesus. And every mountain, every mountain, every mountain of problems I command them to be removed by the power by the anointing of the Holy Ghost fire in Jesus name tonight do a new thing in the lives of your children whatever be their need whatever be their want whatever be their desire may you answer them may you visit them in the month of April
In Jesus' name, visit them tonight. Visit them today. Visit them this hour. Let it be their season. Let it be their turn. Let it be their hour of visitation. Turn their morning into dancing. Turn their morning into dancing. Turn their morning into dancing. Turn their, their garment of ashes, their cloth of ashes into a garment of praise. Give them something to rejoice about. Give them something to praise you about. Even in Jesus' name. By giving them a testimony. Bind the broken hearted. Restore homes. Restore destiny. Restore futures. Those who feel like they have wasted their destinies because of the past. I pray that Father you restore their future. I pray that you shall restore their lives. Those who think they have wasted their lives. May you restore them. Because you are the God who restores Restore their future. Restore their lives. Restore their marriages. Give them a second chance. Give them a second chance. Give them a second chance in the month of April. Open new doors for them. Even in Jesus' name. Whatever they find to do, may they prosper. May they excel. May they break through in Jesus' name. Father, we are believing you for divine visitation. Even in the month of April. Visit us, oh God. Visit us, oh God. Do a great and awesome thing in our lives. We are expecting you for miracles. We are expecting you for signs and wonders. We are expecting you to help us to know you better. We are expecting you to help us to serve you better. We are expecting you to help us to grow stronger in you. We are expecting you to be our deliverer. For I pray that in the month of April, everyone whose enemy are still pursuing them, may you bend off their enemies from about every witch cloud. Every wizardry, every demon, every strong man, every principalities, every powers, every giant standing before them and their breakthrough. For I command that you shall clear their enemies and command your fire to burn their enemies. Run about them. Arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. And cause their enemies to be scattered in Jesus' name. Father, visit us tonight with your deliverance. Visit us tonight with your salvation. Visit us tonight by quickening us, energizing us, empowering us, refreshing us, helping us to know that you have a good purpose, a good plan. You have good things in store for us. Because your word says that you are able to do exceedingly. Abundantly. May you do an exceedingly and abundantly upon our lives. More than we can even ask or think. According to the power of God, we pray, O oh God, that you shall bless us and bless us indeed. May you bless us and bless us indeed. May you bless us with your peace. May you bless us with your joy. May you bless us with sound mind. May you bless us with good health. May you bless us with long life. May you bless the waste of our health. May you bless our children. May you bless our spouse. May you bless our jobs. May you bless our career. May you bless everything that we do in the name of Jesus. May you enlarge us, O oh God. May you increase us, O oh God. May you multiply us, O oh God. May you remove limitations, boundaries from our lives. Every ceiling, every limitation, every barricade, every blockade, every hindrance, everything that tries to stand us and our breakthrough. May you part the rest into two. May you con command the walls of Jericho to crumble before us. May you command the child to be slain in the name of Jesus. Roll away limitations. Roll away limitations. Roll away limitations. Roll away limitations. May we advance. May you ad advance. May you advance us, O oh God. May you advance us, O oh God, in the month of April. Even in Jesus' name. May we move from glory to glory. May we move from glory to glory. May we know you better and the power of your resurrection. May we serve you better in the name of Jesus. Financially, health-wise, in our relationship, may the job alone be our strength. May you increase us in every area of our lives. Even in Jesus' name. May your hand be upon us. May your hand be upon us. Your good hand be upon us. May your favor be upon us. May goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives. May your good hands rest upon us. It is the month of divine visitation. Visit us. Visit us. Reveal yourself to us. In our homes, may our homes be transparent. Even in Jesus' name, that we may have angelic visitation. May our homes be transparent to your divine blessings and favors. May goodness and mercy follow us. May crooked paths be made straightened. May our darkness be radiant with your light. Even in Jesus' name. And may you roll away shame. May you roll away reproach. May you roll away disappointment. May you roll away the iron bars of defeat and failure. Oh God, roll away every curse, every spell against our lives. Do a new thing in our lives. And bless everyone. 
on this phone line that they may be a blessing. Even in the name of Jesus. Even in the name of Jesus. In the month of April, I prophesy your goodness. I prophesy your faithfulness. I prophesy your loving kindness. I prophesy your miracles. I prophesy signs and wonders. I prophesy deliverance. I prophesy salvation. I prophesy your help. For your children, help, help. Be the help of your children. Help them financially. Help them in their marriage. Help them in their jobs. Help them in any area of their lives. Help your people, O oh God. Comfort Zion. Strengthen Zion. Empower Zion. Embolden Zion. And Father God, protect us. Sustain us. Deliver us. Be our refuge. Be our shield. Be our deliverer. Be our helper. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for an answered prayer. That in this month of April, you will do an amazing thing. And a glorious thing in our lives. We thank you for an answered prayer. Because your word says that in all things, by prayer and supplication, and with thanksgiving, we should make our request be made known to you. And the peace of God, that surpasses all understanding, shall keep our heart and mind through Christ Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that every prayer request will be answered in Jesus' name. Have we prayed thanksgiving? Amen. Precious one, I want you to know that if you prayed right now, be in expectation. Be in expectation. For the Lord will answer you and show you great and awesome things. Precious one, I'm about to.